sin frog is exactly what it sounds like. It's a synthetic frog. Uh, it's made of water, fibers, and salt. Uh, it's, um, it's a complete animal. It's got a complete skeleton, uh, musculature, thoracic organs, vasculature, uh, abdominal organs. Uh, it's designed for high school and middle school dissection. Uh, the frog in particular is superior to a real frog. Uh, it's superior for a number of reasons. So, you know, first of all, when you use a preserved frog, you essentially have a sack of what to me looks like chewed up tobacco. It's uh, a bunch of, uh, you know, organs. It's, it is a real frog, but there's a bunch of stuff in there that's really hard to identify. It's definitely not live tissue. It doesn't look like live tissue. It doesn't feel like live tissue. When you're working with animals that have been preserved in formaldehyde, there's a number of issues. One, the formaldehyde is very toxic. Uh, plus, when things are preserved in formaldehyde, they do tend to lose their color, they get mushy. So with the, the synthetic product, uh, you don't have that. What's really great about these particular um, frog dabbers or sin frogs is that they have, you know, they're stored in water and alcohol. And so they're completely safe to touch. The students, we want them to feel the texture, realize that this is what a real frog feels like. Um, and there was not a student in that classroom that was afraid to participate. A lot of kids don't want to be part of dissection, so they'll opt out. I think that sometimes they get so freaked out by seeing a dead animal that they're just turned off immediately. We have had zero children opt out today. Uh, we don't have to provide one alternative assignment. And in the past, we've absolutely had to do that. So if people embrace this and look at it as an opportunity for all kids to have this experience and that it's an opportunity for everyone to be a part of it, I think that the fields of science for these kids will open up um, dramatically. And again, I have never seen 30 kids that engaged in anything that they've done, especially in a science class like that, and so it was unbelievable. Those individuals who would rather not have a, um, an animal die for them to learn, they are going to be able to have a superior experience and to be able to kind of become part of that education without having to carry that guilt. Yeah, I would absolutely, um um, um, advise other colleagues and stuff to take a look at this uh, technology. Um, I, think, I think it's amazing and uh, when I've talked about it since going to the factory, I just think it's, it's pure genius. Credits to the CEO and the staff at Sindever who are, who are trying to push this technology. I, I really do think it can make a difference in, in schools um, and I really do believe the kids are excited about it.